public sector union has filed a lawsuit against Premier Kathleen Wynne and two senior ministers. This is over the sale of Hydro One. CTV's Paul Bliss joins us now live from Queens Park. Paul, there are some serious allegations in the claim. There are, Ken, and uh, that's the hook in all of this when it comes to the lawsuit. The union claims the Liberals inappropriately charged investment bankers big bucks to attend dinners that were being attended by the finance minister and the energy minister right around the time of the sale of Hydro One. And these investment bankers ended up making a profit from selling those shares and they got to hobnob with some of the top ministers. The union says this is inappropriate. That's the crux of their lawsuit. But at the end of it, the union says it's really its only main goal is to stop the sell of more shares in Hydro One. One of the province's biggest unions is suing the premier over the sale of Hydro One. Its goal is simple, to stop the government from selling any more shares on the stock market to private investors. We'd rather not be here today. We'd hoped that the massive public outcry against any further sale of shares in Hydro One would finally bring the premier and her government to their senses to do the right thing for the people of the province of Ontario. Instead, in a speech to the Liberal Party, the Premier made a vague reference to mistakes on hydro and offered an apology without any commitment to stop selling shares. A poll says 80% of Ontarians oppose the sale. Critics say it doesn't even make any profit for the province. That's because taxpayers are giving the private investors more than $3 billion of tax money to help them avoid paying taxes and to avoid debt. We're using taxpayer money to subsidize those who are going to uh, be purchasing shares in Hydro One. The Liberals say they're using the proceeds from the sale to pay for new transit, roads and bridges. We have at every juncture checked what we're doing. The Integrity Commissioner has already ruled on, uh, on the issue that is, uh, is before the court. Um, we have, we've worked very hard to make sure that as we, as we work to find resources to do the kind of investment that we're talking about today, that we do it in, uh, in the best way possible. Energy Minister Glenn Tebow defends the plan and says it will not be halted. The first shares of Hydro One that hit the stock market cost $20.50. Today, if you want to buy a share in Hydro One, $23. That's up more than 10%. Reporting live at Queen's Park, I'm Paul Bliss. I'll send it back to you. Thank you, Paul.